Do you want to kill yourself? He asks. And the question sounds unreal, because you never hear anyone ever asking that question in real life. I don't want you to do that, he says. I can't let you do that. You can't leave me here alone. His voice breaks. You need to be here, he says, and he raises his hands to cover up his face. I'm sorry, I say, because his face, all scrunched up and melting, physically hurts me. Against my will, I step away from the edge and closer to him, and I hope that this makes him understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I pause, suddenly understanding everything. 